Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we are gonna be putting in a garden at our new place. Ground that was long grass, you can see surrounding here. We mowed it down, tilled it up. Use the hiller better today, better hiller, whatever you wanna call it. So stick around, we'll take you through it now. Few things I want to tell you about really quick. Right now, it's May 2022. We do have a sale going on. So you can save 10% off of every attachment that we sell on our website. Head on over there to get more information, limited time only. Now we also have a brand new rewards program and to kick that party off, we are giving 5% rewards towards a future purchase when you make an order. So if you order a thousand dollar attachment right now, you get 50 bucks to use towards a future order as well. Now we also have a merchandise store available. A lot of you guys have been asking if you can buy a hat or a shirt or something with our logo on it. Very flattered. We don't wanna make any money off of you. So if we do make any profits, those are gonna be donated to a charity. But if you want some GWT swag, there's gonna be a link down below as well as on our website on where to buy.
folks. So what you're looking at, we're going to be running east-west. This is full sun. You can see that there's a hillside here that we're working with. Now, I didn't want to run left to right across. I just wanted to run up and down just for safety's sake. And you can see the surrounding grass around here. In an earlier video, we showed you mowing this all down with a flail mower. And this is just the timing of it all. You know, we didn't have time to spray, didn't have... Uh, time to come through and do any deep plowing or anything else. We're just getting moved in here. Just this is a last minute kind of thing that we wanted to get something in the ground and see how it goes. And we'll keep improving as the years go on. So we're using a John Deere 1025R with an ideal 48 inch tiller on the back. And so any subcompact tractor, you know, your 20 to 25 horsepower range are typically what you're going to see using a 48 inch tiller, about the same width as the tractor. But all your Kubota BX series, your Massey subcompacts, Coyote, New Holland LS, all the different subcompact tractors, you're basically going to run a 48 inch tiller, a 60 inch is just too large. And so this is breaking new ground here. This is not, of course, tilling up an existing plot. And so we're going to go over this multiple passes. And I want you to pay attention because we're going to go down and back uh, for the first handful of passes and, and show you what that looks like. And then at the very last pass, we're going to go down, back, down, back. So for four total passes, show you the difference. It's breaking up, chopping up all the sod, all the grass, all the roots that are up on top. A few rocks here and there that you're going to see. But in subsequent years, once you have that sod broken up, you're not going to have to go over it nearly as often to have really good great and consistent results but in the beginning if you're putting in a brand new garden or a brand new food plot you're probably gonna have to spend a little bit more time that first year getting everything established now on this very last row that you see we go down back down and back and so we did four total passes just to have a comparison against the previous rows that we only did two passes one down and back and so seeing how much improved those results were we decided to do at least one more pass on the remaining rows due to a, a limited amount of time, but it did make a difference having that third pass on there, and I think we're ready to bed. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. All right, so now that we've got that tilling done, it's gonna be time to use a better hiller. And one thing I wanna mention, we try to do it whenever we can, is get or partner with made in the USA companies, all right? And so the heavy hitch, better hiller that you see here, the ideal tiller are both gonna be made in the US with that little asterisk, right? With US and imported parts. So that means the majority of the components, the majority of the labor is gonna be here in the US, but there are gonna be certain components, certain pieces like a gearbox, could be disc blades, that kind of thing that are gonna be imported. So something to bear in mind. Now this is my first time ever using a better hiller and I will say it has a bit of a learning curve associated with it. Now again, there weren't any instructions that came with it online and so, as far as putting it together, that was pretty straightforward, but as far as figuring out the right depth, the right width uh, for the spacing on the disc in particular, that took some configuring. And you're gonna notice as we're going through here, there's still a lot of organic matter, as in sod and grass and clippings that are, they're chopped up, but they're still clumping up together. But the first thing we notice is that the cultivator tines, those points at the end, were not digging down and engaging the earth. We had our disc set to low at the same plane as those cultivator points and so they didn't want to rip down into the ground they wanted to ride along the ground so we adjusted our disc up higher let those points dig down deeper and that seemed to solve that problem now the next issue we encountered was the right aggressiveness of those discs and trying to make it more aggressive to make 
enough of a mound like we want, but not too aggressive where it's going to clog up with all that organic matter. And again, I think this is a first year problem. Once all that sod breaks down, decomposes, you're gonna have just some nice soil left to work with. This first year though, I'm noticing that there was not a perfect setting. You can see in certain locations where there's not quite as much sod where it really did a good job making those hills, but I think we're just gonna have to make do for this year. Now there is an optional furrow point that you can put right in the middle to help create those seed beds where you can just lay your seed down and cover it back up. I chose not to do that in this video. I felt like just getting this all configured and fine-tuned the way I want it was an, enough of a, a chore for me to do so we may come back we're gonna probably expand this garden more and make it a little bit wider we could use it at that point but we'll certainly be using it in the future alrighty folks so there you have it that was the first time using this better hiller a little bit of adjusting there right you gotta fine-tune it I think once it's set up you're not gonna need to play with it anymore unless you want to if you have a different application where it's gonna require just a different scenario but I think I'm getting it close to where I want it to be. We'll probably end up using that center point sometime soon. I may try it out this year just to see, but it depends how it's doing catching grass and sod and clippings like that. But overall, it just goes to show you that you can do bigger jobs, you know, a decent sized garden with a subcompact tractor, no problem at all. You could make this whole thing a food plot here. It's just gonna take you longer to do versus a big tractor, but these smaller tractors can tackle the job with the right size tools. I do have to give one more shameless plug to the Rhino Hide Canopy. I absolutely love this thing. When we were mowing earlier today on the 3025E, I didn't have one on there and the sun was just baking down. So really nice to be out of the sun and in the shade with one of these guys here. Get that at rhinohidecanopies.com. But for tillers and all sorts of other attachments, you gotta check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. Now a company like Heavy Hitch, like what this Better Hiller is right here, you get that right from their website. You enter code GWT, you save 5% off of your order. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna follow along, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. It's completely free, no obligation. You just get notified anytime we post a new video. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.